there was a point in my life, in my childhood, where I used to laugh a lot. Like, I would laugh a lot, I would play, and my dad would say, son, why are you always laughing? Why are you always smiling? You need to be serious. Son, stop taking everything as a joke. Stop taking everything as a game. You need to focus and be serious. And in that conversation, I told my dad, I looked at him, I said, you know what, dad? I won't laugh anymore. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and I'm excited today to talk about the topic as we're going ahead and wrapping up Mental Health Awareness Month, right? Mental Health Awareness Month. And the reason why I wanted to really drill down on today's topic is because it's something that a lot of times we can overlook. It's something that we focus so hard on grinding, on working as, as either an athlete, as either an entrepreneur, or whatever it might be. We're putting in all the time, doing all the things, except for focusing on our mental health. And I wanted to talk about this topic specifically today is because I was watching an episode of Ted Lasso with my wife last night, and it was the season finale. And towards the end, the coach is, and I don't want to give no spoilers, but the coach has a, a conversation with his mother. And during their exchange, he just lets her know that he had some feelings as a child that he held in, that he harbored, and that ultimately it affected him in his life and where he is right now. Why is this relevant? This is relevant so much because me personally, in my own journey, there was a point in my life, and this wasn't even when I was doing business or anything like that, but there was a point in my life, in my childhood, where I used to laugh a lot. Like, I would laugh a lot, I would play, and my dad would say, son, why are you always laughing? Why are you always smiling? You need to be serious. Son, stop taking everything as a joke. Stop taking everything as a game. You need to focus and be serious. And in that conversation, I told my dad, I looked at him, I said, you know what, dad? I won't laugh anymore. So from that time to my childhood, till about my mid-20s, and I'm 35 now, but my mid-20s, I held that in against my father. He didn't even know. And I just had just a grudge towards him, right? Because he was... He was our protector. He was our provider. He was a disciplinarian for sure. Okay. And my mom was out in Texas at the time. But this was something that affected me emotionally. And I just held it. And this was years over years that when I held this in and I harbored this emotion, it didn't allow me to make certain memories with my father that I could have maybe in my teenage years. Right, maybe early 20s, maybe late 20s, who knows? Granted, we're on great terms now, but the thing that that I really want you to extract is what is it that you need to release from yourself right now? What is it you need to release from yourself today? I don't want you to hold on to something that's affecting you mentally. That's affecting you emotionally, spiritually, relationally. Because when our mental is thrown off, that affects everything around us. I don't care who you are. If you're not locked in in the mental game up here, that's going to affect every other area. If you're an athlete, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're an entertainer, all that, all the things, right? All of the things. So let's identify today what we need to let go of. Some of us, it might be a relationship to where it ended abruptly or you know somebody ghosted you or whatever it might be and then <clears throat> you never had a way to either get that clarity that you desired right to just get an understanding of why did we break up why did you disappear why why did this happen why did that happen and then they have something that um, I learned when I was in graduate school before I dropped out. Uh, I learned that 
They have they have it. It's called a, a, a unopened letter or an open letter more so to where a person who you either can't directly communicate your feelings, your emotions, um, resentment, whatever you might be feeling, whatever is going through your mind, like either you can't be in the same physical proximity with that person or you can't bring yourself to share the words to give to that person. Then they tell you to write an open letter, right? Dear such and such. And you write the letter. (laughs) Write how you feel. Write what you want to say to them. Write what you want to share. And a lot of times people do this when either that person has died and gone on or, like I said before, they're in a spot to where you can't communicate with them. Or maybe you're in a relationship with them. They went and got married. So now just to be respectful and now just to be intentional about how you can affect their feelings and their emotions or even their livelihood. So you just choose, you just choose to write the open letter. So there's that. And then the last piece I want to just share, Uh, but before I get to that, I want to just let you all know um, for my entrepreneurs out there, especially if you're in the Dallas area, especially if you're in the Dallas area, uh, we're doing a live podcast workshop okay it's going down june 17th you can just hit the link down below uh, and the link is start your podcast here.com start your podcast here.com because we're going to be going in i'm going to be breaking down uh what you need to start a podcast how you can be successful in podcasting we're going to talk about all the things right how you can use ai to save you time in your podcasting journey all of the things all right so go to start your podcast here dot com and we're gonna have that link down for you in the show notes all right the last thing i want to share with you is this right here make it a priority to do something that you truly enjoy for you selfishly for you get selfish Get selfish, okay? I want you to be selfish, all right? This past weekend, I had the opportunity to go with my wife to get pedicures, okay? Pedicures. And I don't get pedicures often, uh, but I am an advocate of pedicures, right? Because it's just the way they touch your feet. And what they do is just is, is different. And we were getting a pedicure, and the lady uh, put the jelly in there, Right? And I'm sitting there just chilling. My wife's like, what are you doing? You're not going to move your feet? And I was like, no, I mean, I'm just chilling here enjoying it. She said, get the full experience. So I took that opportunity to immerse myself in the jelly, moving my toes and wiggling and letting the jelly harden around my feet. And it felt good. All right. It felt good. Uh, We went to one nail spa or nail one is one of the two. It's out in Fort Worth. But I wanted to just let you all know, right? Do something for yourself. You enjoy it, okay? And when you enjoy it, it relieves stress from your mind, all right? And then when you relieve stress from your mind, you're able to do the things that you need to do so that you can provide for yourself, for your family, and you have a clear mental space, okay? So... If you're in the spot to where you're like, John, all that sounds great, but I need to talk to somebody, I would encourage you. You can literally Google free mental health services, okay? And I'm going to have some other other links down for you in the show notes for you to access, but I'm a strong advocate of therapy because I've been there. My wife and I attend a therapy session probably a couple times a month now. And it's been pivotal in my journey and in mending my relationship with my father, right? In helping piece me back together and become whole so that I can be prepared for marriage. And now we're three years in the game and some change with our 12 week old baby boy, right? So uh, if you're in a spot in a position where you're ready to talk to somebody, talk to somebody, okay? And just know that therapists are humans too. So, You might have to date around just a little bit before you decide to lock in the one. 
But when you do find the right one, you'll know it because they're going to challenge you in a way nobody else challenged you. They're going to help you open up. They're going to reveal some stuff you might not even want to reveal, but then they're going to walk you through the process and coach you through how you can begin to navigate and how you can put tools in position to where uh, you won't be in this position uh, without resources again. All right. So like I said before, shout out to Ted Lasso for the inspiration on this episode. Uh, but I really love how they weaved in mental health because we need it. So like I said before, if you're ready, talk to somebody. If not, then do something that recharges you. Right. Ride a bike, go for a jog, record a podcast, write a book, read a book. I don't know. Listen to a podcast. I don't know what recharges you, but do it. Okay. It might be out of your comfort zone. So just try it. The petty was out of my comfort zone with that jelly. But when I got in that jelly, I enjoyed myself. All right. So family, one more time, start your podcast here.com. If in your Dallas area, we're going to have a live podcast workshop where I'm be giving you all the game and helping my entrepreneurs get in a position, right? To where they can build their audience and they can generate more sales. But until next time, family, this is Beyond the Ball. Now I'm your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Till next time, peace and God bless. Oh,